It was a pleasure to see so many of you in Miami Beach at our annual meeting. Welcome to the May issue of ASJ. My selections are all international articles from the breast surgery section with a commentary, original article from the body contouring section with a commentary, and an original contribution from the cosmetic medicine section. Don't miss the three international translated abstracts in this month's issue, French, Portuguese, and Spanish. Next month, it'll be Turkish, Korean, and Chinese. I invite you to watch our current podcast from the rhinoplasty section, an anatomic analysis of the bony vault, from the perspective of osteotomy in rhinoplasty. And of course, I encourage you to listen to the monthly ASJ Open Forum podcast. From the breast surgery section, BIA, ALCL, epidemiological findings from a retrospective study of 248 cases extracted from the relevant case reports and series, a systematic review. This is an international review article from Italy with Dr. Fabio Santanelli di Pompeo and co-authors who point out that the epidemiological picture with BIA ALCL is unclear due to lack of high-level evidence. <clears throat> they also found that matrosectured implants in older patients and those with BRCA1, 2, and TP53 mutations should be considered since they're associated with early disease onset. A commentary by Dr. Mark Clemens elucidates these findings, reminding us that each patient's clinical history is different and the final decision for prophylactic explantation must take into account unique surgical risks and comorbidities. He advises that patients should continue to monitor and report back to their surgeon with any abnormal breast findings since, though rare, disease has still occurred years after a total capsulectomy. In the body contouring section, the paper description of a novel web-based liposuction system to estimate fat volume and distribution. This is an international original article from Canada by Dr. Robert Hartunyan and colleagues who looked at SAT maps for pre-op liposuction planning. This is a web-based software that objectively simulates fat distribution and measures safe liposuction volumes. This software represents a cost-efficient, accessible, user-friendly system offering clinically accurate 3D virtual simulations. In his commentary, Dr. Pat Pasminio indicates that because the fascial layers and the subcute spaces are relatively consistent in each specific anatomic area, it may be possible for the user to set the fat safety assumption at the depth of the superficial fascia and build a heat map that could accurately describe the fat within deep subcutaneous space alone, and then if integrated with existing two-dimensional and three-dimensional imaging programs it may offer patients a more accurate view of their post-op results. Cosmetic medicine section, the paper is in vivo investigation of the biostimulatory and rejuvenating effects of small particle cross-linked hyaluronic acid <coughs> injections in photo-aged human skin. This is an international original article from China by Dr. Daniel Meng Yen Si and colleagues who found that interdermal microinjections of small 
particle of cross-linked hyaluronic acid can stimulate collagen production and other extracellular matrix components which may, destroy, uh, which may restore the structural integrity of dermal microenvironment and can be considered an effective method for skin rejuvenation. That's it for May. Summer's already here in the South and I look forward to bringing you the June issue.